New tonight, feminine hygiene products in Arkansas could soon be tax free after a state representative introduced a bill just before the new year. Five News reporter Allie Lynch joins us live with those details. Allie. Yeah, Erica, Arkansas State Representative Aaron Pilkington proposed this bill on December 31st that would exempt feminine hygiene products for sales and use tax. And this bill has major support from both sides. What can we do to show that, you know, we, we do care about women. We want to make things equitable in society so that they have the same advantages that that men have. If passed, this bill would make tampons, panty liners, menstrual cups, sanitary napkins and other feminine hygiene products tax free items. Republican State Representative Aaron Pilkington for District 69 is the lawmaker fighting for this bill and says he wants to do everything in his power to make things fair for women in the natural state. We don't tax pharmaceuticals or things like that, but you know, you may you could say, you know, I need this medication to, to be functional at work. You know, I would say the same thing with feminine hygiene products. Several U.S. states have passed bills exempting feminine products from sales tax. What's great is I'm actually able to pull from those states kind of the data to, to help support the reason why it has been successful. You know, none of those states are trying to repeal repeal that law that they passed back in 18. So that's really been fantastic for us. Right now, there are currently 30 states that do not allow tax free feminine products. Arkansas is one of them. Pilkington says too many hardworking Arkansans are struggling to make ends meet and they shouldn't have to further the burden by taxing the purchase of products necessary for women and their medical well being. You know, whether you're uh, a woman who's working in a minimum wage shop, or you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, you're both going to benefit equally from this. And so what's really nice is it isn't some sort of cut that's going to favor one group of women more than another group. And so that I think is, is really equitable. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Allie Lynch, 5 News. Now the bill will go up for a vote in early February. If approved, the new exemptions would take effect on the first day of the calendar quarter following its approval.